So we'll go ahead and pour the salt in here. Got five pounds of salt per five gallons of water. We're going to add our water. I'll mix it up good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our citric acid in here too. Now this pickling stuff here is uh, is going to be pretty acidic. So what I use is this uh, safety acid. I thought I had citric, but anyway, it's called a safety pickling acid. I get it out of McKenzie's or uh, Van Dyke's. It's made by Riddles. It, it calls for using a half fluid ounce and a pound of salt. So I need two and a half ounces of this. Of this. And what we want to do is we want to keep the pH between one and two. So I'm going to go ahead and get this about where I want her. I want about two and a half ounces. Fluid ounces, that is. Pour it in there. Rinse your cup out. Okay. Make sure you cover your, your put a lid on there. Now stir that up a little bit. Okay. What we're doing now is uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take my gloves off here. What I want to do is I want to test the pH here. And I've got some pH test strips. You can get these out of the taxidermy supply houses too. And it should come out pretty darn red like so. And they've got a color chart on the side right here. You can match it up there. we got a pH between 1 and 2 there. That's what we want. Now, the only thing you got to watch out for here is when you put your hide in, you got to make sure you agitate this hide. Come, come back to it every couple hours uh, before you go to bed at night. And then uh, in the morning, agitate it. In this one here, this dough hide... It's going to take up quite a bit of room in here, but what we're going to do, we're going to put her in there. We're going to let the hair get soaked up and uh, agitate the heck out of this. We're going to get that hide in there. You'll know deer hide is kind of tough to... I'm going to get another uh, glove on. And what I'm going to do is, i got to have a glove on to put my hands in there, otherwise you'll eat them right up. Uh, we want to get that stirred up and get that hide in there and get it agitated. Make sure all surface areas are covered, especially on that flesh side. What happens is, you start losing your pH as soon as you put your hide in here, you start sucking that some of that into your hide, and you'll end up with uh, a pH that isn't, it'll start we coming up. keep that pH down. So, what we'll do is if we have to, we'll go ahead and uh, add more, uh, pull the hide out, and we'll add more acid to it. We got to keep that pH between one and two, otherwise your your hair will start to slip. Your hide will actually start to rot, and we don't want We're that. We're trying to pickle everything, so it'll uh, be somewhat preserved until we tan it. You know how you pickle things and you can save them, like uh, well, about anything, like pickles or whatever. Only using a different method there, but. What we're doing is about basically the same. We want to preserve everything. So you just get this hide saturated. All right, so make sure all areas are covered. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add... You can kind of see how I'm getting that down in there. It's starting to get soaked up. I want to, it, it, What it is is this hide is hard. When you got hair on them, it's a lot harder to get this hide underneath. So we're going to put a couple of boards on top of it to hold it under the water. 
But what I do is I move this hide around quite a bit. I want to make sure that this hide is, is covered. So we're going to agitate the heck out of it. I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. And I'm also going to add some more water to that. I need another gallon of water. So, I'm going to get another gallon of water. That means I'm going to need another half ounce of uh, acid and a pound of salt. So what we'll do is we'll mix that right up in the bucket and pour it in here. And that'll be good that way. That way you won't have to try to mix it up with the hide in there. Anyway, we got our pound of salt. We'll put it in there. Then we're going to do a half an ounce of uh, acid. I'll use this water in here to kind of stir it up, mix it. I'll get my mixing stick. One thing about uh, making up a pickle bath. If it isn't pretty close, you'll end up uh, losing your hide to slippy. If you really want to ensure a good hide, go ahead and, uh, we didn't do it on this one, but we could have. We're going to go ahead and pour this in here. There we go. What you can do is uh, salt your hide for three or four hours, let it hang it up, let it drain. Get some of the juices out of it. You can rough flesh it and then come back and do the final fleshing on it after the salt's been on there a while. But we're going to try this way here. It'll it'll turn out good. Uh, but if you don't agitate this, what happens is you don't get any fresh pickling solution down in here. These little pockets. And you'll end up with... Uh, let me get this piece of meat off here. You'll end up with uh, slippage in that area. Just as simple as that. Because what that's going to be in there for three days. We're going to let this thing pickle for about three days. That's quite a while. And it'll rot in that length of time. But we don't want it to rot. We're, we're trying to preserve it. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead and get this like so. Move it around a little. I'll come back in about a couple hours and I'll agitate this some more get this thing down in there what I'll do is I'll put a board on top of it and a, maybe some type of a weight to hold her down a couple boards that's the length of this and uh, oh yeah once your hair gets soaked it's a lot better it's not as hard to work with what we're going to do is we're going to get us a board here, about like so, put it on top, if we need more than one we'll get another one here like so, put it here, put some weight on it to hold that down in there. I want that baby in there, uh, let me get another board here, yeah that's good, it's right there, you see this board right here? I'll put that board on there. We'll put some weight on there like so. Press her down in the water, the solution, and we're going to be good. We'll just get some weight right there on that. Let's see what do we have for weight. Okay, what I do is that'll be just like so. That'll keep that down in the water. It'll start sinking. The weight will just put a little pressure on it. It'll start sinking and we'll be good to go. I'm going to rinse out my pockets. Rinse it over. Get everything cleaned up. Run 
Running water is good in a situation like this. Well, anyway, this is what we've got. We're going to come down and agitate this once in a while for three days. I'm going to agitate this and check that pH out. I'm not going to let this thing sit without checking it. If you do, you're going to end up losing this hide because your pH is going to come up. It never fails. You always have to check that pH. If you don't, you're going to lose your hide, you're going to be miserable about it. It's even worse if it's a customer's hide. You say you're doing uh, a cape like this for deer, and I've done many, hundreds of capes with exactly this same method right here. And every once in a while, I think in, a, in the probably, I don't know how many hundreds, I've lost maybe one or two. Uh, I always pick up a couple extra capes during the year to replace them if I lose them. Okay, we're going to check this pH again. I want to make sure that everything is copacetic. It's nice and red, see that? Uh, matches here between these two here, a one and a two. That's where we want to keep that pH at. Uh, if we don't, we're going to end up with a, a hide that's not going to be worth a darn. So anyway, you've heard me say that several times. You're probably getting tired of it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing saturated, get the edges down in there, leave her sit a couple hours. I'll come out and I'll agitate the heck out of it. I'm not going to Turn it on. I'm not going to turn the film on every time I agitate, but I'm just telling you, do it several times throughout the day, and then do it before you go to bed, before you go to work in the morning, make sure you run down and agitate this side. Don't leave it 8 or 10 hours without agitating it uh, and checking your pH, because I guarantee you that's a good way to lose her. So anyway... That's that part of it. We've got it fleshed. We've got it in the pickle. When we come back, what we're going to do is we'll neutralize this hide.